Hi, I'm Jenny. In today's meditation, I'm going to show you how to enter the cave of your heart through visualization. There will be moments of silence in the meditation. I just want to let you know that ahead of time so you don't think your internet has issues. I also want to let you know that I will be praying and calling on some guidance. If that does not resonate with you, let it go for now. And then if you decide to do this meditation on your own, which is my hope, you can call in whomever you like or call in no one but your higher self, and that's okay too. Um, I like to keep my introductions fairly short, so if you want to know more about this meditation, the why and how to expand upon it, stick around after the meditation. But for now, find a quiet and comfortable spot. I always like to start with some deep belly breaths or balloon breaths. And the idea of this breath is that as you slowly breathe into your belly, your diaphragm, it fills up like a balloon and then as you breathe out it deflates like a balloon and you want to go as slow as you can without causing you any kind of anxiety and so it may help you to place your hands here if it's a new thing for you and take some slow deep belly breaths to allow yourself to begin to relax and get yourself in sort of a meditation um, space if you start to take those breaths and you feel uncomfortable in your body pause the video get kind of you know resituated and then we'll begin so we're going to take some slow deep breaths and when you're ready close your eyes while you're taking the slow deep breaths just kind of you know observe where you are today is there anything going on in the body? What thoughts are on a cycle? Um, just simple observations. And take some deep, slow breaths and observe them. Let them go if possible. If there's something you need to tend to right now, pause the meditation and come back. Otherwise, let whatever thoughts pop up know that you'll deal with them later. So take some deep, slow breaths. Just focusing on breathing right now. While you're taking some deep breaths, I'm going to say some opening prayers. If they resonate with you, feel free to repeat them in your mind or aloud. And if not, just let them go. I thank Mother Earth for holding me. Thank you to the Cosmic Mother in the sky for guiding me. Thank you to my dear guardian angel and angels around me for being with me. Thank you to any archangels or ascended masters who choose to guide me. Thank you to my ancestors who are present and bearing witness. Thank you to the shamans of this land. And thank you to my highest self for being present. Let's take another deep, slow breath. And I invite you, if you can, to place your hands over your heart space. So not your physical heart, but like your sternum, the middle of your chest. Feel the weight, the pressure, the temperature of your hands. Try to draw your attention to the physical space, that middle of your chest. This is where many believe is the bridge between heaven and earth, our own hearts. It's where the earth energy meets the cosmic energy. 
And that's where we're going to enter. Let's take another deep breath. This time filling the belly slowly and then letting it go into the chest as well so you can feel your hands rise. I invite your highest self to come forward. You may want to say, highest self, please come forward, either aloud or in your mind, or thank you to my highest self for coming forward. And when you think highest self, when you invite the highest self forward, what image or color or thoughts come to mind? Just take note. No judgment. Now with this highest self, we are going to travel to the cave of our hearts. So first try to see your highest self the best you can. If you have a hard time with visualization, just imagine your own self. Maybe just perfectly energetic and healthy like the best version of your actual self. Or some other image may come to you and go with that. So take a moment and really try to see what does your highest self look like? Now imagine your highest self standing somewhere and behind them is a cave and this can be anywhere any landscape any planet underwater just anywhere this is your cave so where are you where is your highest self located try to get a feel for the landscape the temperature is it night is it day and know that you're safe. And now really look at the entrance of the cave. What does the cave look like? It's dark inside, but know that it's safe because it's yours. It's your cave. Take another deep breath. You can let your hands fall to your side and rest. We are going to enter our own cave of our heart. So your highest self is walking through that cave entrance and it's dark, but you know you're safe. Take note of the temperature, what it's like, and know that in the distance you see a light. A fire is burning in the distance and that is where you're going to head. So take your time, enter the cave fully, and you'll come into a larger part of the cave with a fire burning. Take note of the fire, its color, its shape. Notice how it makes shadows upon the walls. What do the walls look like? What are they made of? Take a moment, look all around the cave, because this is a place with your highest self you can return again and again. And it may even be familiar. You may have already been here. Have a seat by the fire and either say aloud or in your head, I invite whatever messages that need to come through to come through at this time. I am listening. I am open to receive. Take another deep breath and just see what happens in that cave of your heart. 
There could be images or words. There could be a guide that comes. I'm going to be quiet, but I'm still with you. Know that you are safe. Take some moments and explore what is happening. If nothing is happening, don't panic. It may just be that you are getting used to being here. And maybe that's all you have to do for today. If words or images are coming quickly, don't panic. Don't try to grasp them all. You'll have a memory of them when you open your eyes. Just trust. Take some more deep breaths. We are going to thank our highest self and any guides that showed up for the messages. Thank you for the messages. Your highest self is going to rise up and start to walk towards the cave entrance again. Know that the fire is always burning. Know that this is always a place you can return to for messages, for listening, for receiving. I'm going to exit the cave. Thank your highest self one more time. Thank you, highest self, for leading me here. Take the deepest breath you've taken all day and slowly flutter open your eyes. I suggest no matter what happened that you journal whatever impressions you received, um, especially journal what your highest self looks like to you. Um, if any guides came through what they look like, even if you don't know who or what they are, write down your cave, where your cave was located, and any messages that came through. And I suggest doing that after this video so it's all really fresh in your mind. If nothing came through, that's okay too. You tried. And it doesn't mean you didn't do it right. It just means that you're going to take need to do this a few times and get that practice. It takes some people some time to build that almost like it's like spirituality is a muscle in its own self, right? It's a trust. So it didn't take some time maybe to build up that trust. Um, but please stick around if you'd like to know a little more as to the why. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed your meditation. Maybe that meditation uh, didn't feel long enough for you. And if that's the case, I'm really happy. That's good, that's good news um, that there was so much going on in that cave that you had a lot of messages coming through. But I kept it short because it may have been your first time doing this. And when you start to do this on your own, maybe use the video two more times until you really get it. And then you can start entering your cave all on your own. And that's kind of the goal, right? So that you can drop into meditation and just go there with your highest self and just be ready to hear whatever comes through for you. This meditation was born out of reading Mary Magdalene Revealed, which is a great book. Um, she talks in here about the real Mary Magdalene. And uh, there's a whole thing about Hesse casts and they, the way they pray is by folding themselves inward to try to get close, physically close to their heart, like their third eye is physically close to their heart because that's where the real messages come through. Um, and so I took that idea and just being in my own meditation, I was led by my spirit guide, one of them, one of my spirit animals. She took me to a cave and dropped me off and I walked in and there was a fire and guides come through so now this is a common thing I just put on um, I like drumming so I put drumming music on and I go 
I meet my spirit animal, she takes me to my cave, she drops me off, and whoever comes in, comes in and gives me messages. And then I write down whatever is received. And it's been a really beautiful experience for me. Um, I've been able to lead people in person to their cave. And I wanted to share this with you. Um, my poetry book, In the Cave of My Heart, is based off of this meditation. And I think it's a beautiful thing. I think, you know, cultures all over the world have and spirituality and religions, there's all these beliefs about the heart center and how important it is. And there's a lot out there about the third eye, but the more I've, more I've studied and the more I've done, it's like I really realize that the heart is where the wisdom is. You know, it's the rose unfolding, it's a portal, it's the bridge between heaven and earth. I mean, there's so much going on. And to enter the cave of our heart is just beautiful. It's a beautiful image, it's a beautiful thought. It's like, we're really leaving the thinking mind behind. We're going into the feeling intuition, which is where the messages come from. It's intuition, right? It's that the feeling we get. And so we want to leave the thinking mind behind with the ego and all the other stuff going on. We want to leave that, go into the cave and be able to hear the messages that we need to hear. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This is laying the groundwork for some future meditations that will build upon this and we'll be returning to the cave. Um, I would love to hear your experience with this. So if you wouldn't mind sharing with me uh, in the comments below, that'd be great. And of course, as always, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe.